Yes, I want to ask Sayuti a question before I leave, please. Okay, so Sayuti, do you hear him? Hatem, he want to ask you a question. Yeah. He's reading reading the book about how to F a woman. He's busy now. A Sayuti, you know? <laughs> Sayuti, can you hear me? Yeah. So I have a question for you, my brother. You're welcome. Oh, thank you. You are Sydney, right? I'm, I'm what? You are Sunni. Yes, I'm Sunni. Oh, that's very good. So, the question is, if you had to choose between Shia and Jews, who would you choose? Me, I choose Bani Adama. They are all Bani Adama to me. I do no, not no, subscribe. No, I don't no. subscribe. I don't subscribe to all these I know, I know. Worldly, worldly divisions. You are lying. I'm lying, is he? Okay, so basically, yeah, you are actually defining, so you are defining my perspective in life. Alhamdulillah, for you, Allah, Allah ejecting you out of Islam. <laughs> Thank you, Prince. Thank you so much. All right. Well, obviously, he answered you and he defeated you. What you can say? Uh, somebody is asking a question about uh, uh, the story of uh, uh, Isaiah uh, and uh, like uh, Abraham. That uh, did did Abraham who Abraham he sacrificed according to the Quran. Uh, so we will give the question to any Muslim. Do we have any Muslim want to answer? Who was the one who was sacrificed by Abraham, Isaac or Ishmael? Suyuti, so it's according to whom? Definitely according to the Holy Quran, yeah. it's Ishmael. Well, uh, what if I show you that you are a donkey? Is are you are you saying um, what we Muslims read in the Quran? Yeah. This was a donkey. Yeah. Or? No, it says that this is Isaac. Where is that? Some other sources in Hadith. That's what. What source are you talking about? Which says is Isaac. Basically, oh, oh. as I as we said, even oh, okay. even Craig said it. Like in the Quran, it says Ishmael. Oh, all right. So you said um you said there is something else, whether it's a source or some article or well, a Hadith. You know, if I ask you right now, when you said to me and you confirm right away. Like you rush to confirm and you say it, it is Ishmael. This is because you heard Muslims saying that everywhere. But can you show it to me where it says Ishmael? The, who, who is um, um, Abraham? Who is his elder son? I'm asking you. It says in the Quran, go and kill your elder son. It doesn't say so. I'm... When you say to me Ishmael, you Muslim, you get your answer from where? I will try and find a, 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 a Quran verse that gives us um, gives us that story now. Uh huh. Well, I will I will put the verses for you on the screen. This are the verses. Do you see the verses in the front of you? I'm just a minute. Uh -huh. Let me check. Can you, um, um, let me see. Can you just give me the verse? I will check it in my Quran now. Chapter 37. You can read from verse number 100 if you want. From verse 100. I'm getting there now. Hmm. Okay, so um, just for your English speakers, um, ch um, or um, um, chapter seven, um, um, which is um, Suratul as Safat. So he says, My Lord, bless me with righteous offsprings. We give him good news of a forbearing son. 
Then when the boy reached the age to work with him, Abraham said, O oh my dear son, I have seen in a dream that I must sacrifice you, so tell me what you think. He replied, O oh my dear father, do as you are commanded. Are willing, you will find me steadfast. Then when they submitted to Allah's will, and Abraham laid him on the side of his forehead for sacrifice, we called out to him, O Abraham, you have already fulfilled the vision. Indeed, this is how we reward the good doers. That was truly a revealing test. Who is the boy was slaughtered or to be slaughtered? Okay. Okay, that's that's a good point. There is no name of a and a son. No, mentioned. there is there is a name. There is a name. There is a name. But you Muslims are blind. All of you are blind. Okay, so can you show me where it mentioned a particular name? When God He gave it, the good news to Abraham, was it about Ishmael or about Isaac, that he his wife she would have a son? So you're telling me um, the story of how I'm not telling you, I'm asking, I'm asking. When the story here says yeah, yeah, that's a fact. that yeah, Allah, yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, Allah that's a fact. gave him a, gl a glad news about having a son. The glad news from yeah. which woman? From his wife or from uh, his slave wife? I will have to read that story because I'm thinking... In both in both situations, he received some some news. But I know definitely with Sarah, he received a glad news. That, that's a exactly. Fact. I will not so, guys, it is Sarah. The miracle is from Sarah because Sarah, she cannot have kids. She's an old woman, right? Sarah. That's a fact. That's that's in Genesis Genesis 18. I know yeah, but no, no, I'm talking about your original. Forget about now about my Bible, my Bible, right? We are talking about your book. In your book, in chapter of Hood, it says that when his wife, she stand and she heard, uh, supposedly the angel speaking, she said, how am I going to have, you know, how am I going to have a child and I'm old woman, you know? She's what? She is an old woman. So if we go in the Quran here, let's open the Quran, give me a second. I won't lie to you. That's a very valid point you made. This is the very first time I've heard you in three years. I've been listening to you. You made you made a very good, valid point. Oh, oh okay. So this is chapter 11, verse number 71. Do you see it? And which chapter is that? Chapter 11, verse 71. Okay. All right. And you can read it before it if you want, you know. That doesn't matter. But... When she was standing, you know, uh, here it says the, the the messengers came to Abraham. Do you see it? In verse number 16. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there now. All right. And this, they, you know, uh, they came to him and uh, she he made food, but they were not eating because they are angels, supposedly. And then, okay, yeah. so, so and, he, and his wife, yeah. uh, and his wife, she was standing there and she laughed either because the message did not eat their food or being glad of destruction of the people of Lut which doesn't make sense you know the Quran very you know I mean you see the translation here you don't know Arabic right yeah do you know Arabic yeah the yeah. Arabic the Arabic have nothing to do really uh, uh, with the English the English translation is so long and so stupid so they didn't know the Muslim did not know she is laughing because of what reason to how stupid the Quran so they are saying to you, this is why the translator is saying, she laughed between bracket either because the messenger did not eat, why well, she will laugh for that reason, or for being glad for destruction of the people of Lut. Hmm? But and then suddenly it says, and we gave her a glad tiding of Isaac. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. So according to the Quran, Allah gave even a glad tiding of two, not only one, that Isaac and then Isaac will give birth to Jacob. And after him, sorry, Jacob. Right? So she would have and we gave a Abraham, the bath of Abraham, he would, after Abraham, he would have a children. Jacob. Abraham, he would have two children, right? Yeah. All right. But who is the glad tiding first? 
Isaac. Isaac. We go back there. Who is the one they gave a glad in tiding for the boy, right? Yeah. And when this boy, the one they gave a glad tiding for, he grow, his father said, I saw a dream, I will slaughter you, correct? That's a, that's a good point, yeah. Yeah, the same boy, that is Isaac. And you can sure, open, sure. And, you can, and you can open I the can, I can, you can open the interpretation. I can, and you, see, will, I will can see. see the bigger picture. Huh? I say I can see the whole bigger picture now. You're right. I will, I will not deny that. Yeah, I'm always right. Yeah, to no, you are not always right. I'm, I know to Muslims. I'm, they, to I'm Muslims, always right. As you do, I'm always right. You are you are nine you are ninety nine percent wrong most of the time. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You see, you see, that's a uh, that's a true Muslim. I act like as a true Muslim. You've um, you've um, um, you mentioned a verse, and you just put the dots to you no, put you the see, dots together. You, you did okay. Hold on. As long you agreed, and by the way, you can open the interpretation. Even the interpretation says that the scholars agree that the one who been sacrificed is Isaac. You are scholars, not only Christian yeah. friends. All right. No, you see, no, no. But I, I would uh, You see, why, why do I accept it? It's like it makes perfect sense. Like the one who Abraham was sacrificing in chapter twenty and thirty-seven, so that who has suffered, it was the one Abraham received glad tide and news of glad tide tidings about, and it's so obvious. It was the glad tidings was a news the angel t told to Abraham and Sarah. So. Like, um, you just have to connect the dots. It's so obvious. I know I'm a Muslim. I'm in my late 50s. In Islamic circles, m Muslims associate Ibrahim, yeah, Ibrahim, with Ishmael. So it's like, it's that um, 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 narrative Muslims have been saying for so long. But I myself, unfortunately, have to be in my late 50s to kind of figure out. And unfortunately, through Christian prince. So it's like, I had no issue with that. I will happily accept yeah i got to know it was isaac abraham was sacrificing through mm abraham intended to sacrifice through christian prince it is not a big deal at all to me hmm. but the, the same way i will accept this that's why that's how i will challenge you in so many other theories you have said about islam and the quran which i know they are not factual you want to challenge me yeah but look what happened. Like now. you never give me the chance. But, but look, what, give me but the look chance. what happened. Look, right. look what happened. If you're right, I will hold say on, you're hold right. On. Hold on. Wrong, Guys, look, look, look what happened. Look what happened. As long as we agree, me and you, that the gift of God is Isaac, not Ishmael. Correct? The, um, the son Abraham, Abraham was going to sacrifice is Isaac. That's a fact. No, no, not, not, no this is not a question. Focus, focus. The gift of God, remember. The wife of Abraham, she is old. She cannot have a children, correct? Yeah. So when the news come, the glad tidings news, saying that we will give you a boy, who is going to give the boy? God. God, okay. So God gift is Isaac. And from his descent will be the prophethood. Is that correct? Yeah. So who is Muhammad? No, from Isaac. But in other verses, God mentioned to Abraham <laughs> about Ishmael. Hold on. Who is Muhammad now? If why Muhammad? Muhammad why is Muhammad? A, is, hold is on. Descendant. Who is the gift? You see, when we say gift, that means this is the will of God, the chosen people of God. You see, when you Muslim, you say uh, that uh, Muhammad is from the uh, highest. Uh, and he is from Abraham. This is a fraud, by the way. Muhammad is not from Abraham. I have nothing to do with him. Because in Genesis, you know, it says it clearly that the wives, the wife of Abraham, the, the slave woman, she went back to Egypt and she married her son Ishmael to Egyptian women. She did not go back to okay. Arabia. All right. So now, as long as the, the, the gift of God is Isaac and the God of Islam, he promised Isaac that from the offspring He's, of Isaac, yeah, not from anyone, the offspring of Isaac, the prophethood yeah. will be. So yeah. how, how Muhammad will be 
a prophet? Okay, good, good. Yeah, good question. Uh -huh. So, whoever said Prophet Muhammad was an Israelite, like um, Daniel, was no, he no, an no, Israelite? No, 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 listen, listen. Oh. No, we are not saying that. Muslims don't say that. Muslims, they say it's from Ishmael. No, it's like, um, you see, like we know, we know, we, we have stories all the way to Adnan. You see, Adnan is called. But the thing is, nobody say that he whoever is from said, nobody whoever say, said, whoever said, nobody say that's not true. They say he is from Ishmael, which is a lie. Okay, all the same. But, but CP, they looking at a bigger picture. Uh -huh. How do we conclude, like, um, prophets sent to Arabia, they have to come from the Israelites? Like, Daniel, was he an Israelite? We don't know. Like, um, if God wants to send prophets to Israelites, then there is a question to ask, is God to come from the progeny, from the offsprings of Isaac and Jacob? That's for Israelites prophet. A prophet being sent to Arabia, does that prophet what have does to have meet to do that with my question? I'm asking you, question. as long who, is Muhammad from the Jews, is he a Jew? Um, we, we don't, CP, you know very well, like even Muslims don't know like um, how we can trace him all, all the way to Abraham. So how do I know if he's a Jew? <laughs> so, the, you know, the Muslims, uh, by the way, I'm not even listening because this guy, those Muslims, they throw things, I mean, they have their fantasy, Daniel, they have Muhammad, he's, I mean, they know, he's, they, they, uh, they, they are all over the place. They know nothing about this man, Muhammad. So they claim that he is from Ishmael. But if they do that, still they are going to be in trouble. Why? Because the Quran make it clear. If I go right now and I type the word Isaac in the Quran, what I will find? I will find something astonishing. Will destroy Islam. It says here. In what? In, look, in what sense? Uh, what sense? You will see what sense. In here, those verses speaking about Isaac, but in verse number chapter 29, verse number 27 says, And we best bestowed on him, Abraham, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and ordained from offspring, his offspring, the prophethood. He mentioned who? Yeah. Isaac and Jacob. Yeah, prophethood for the people of Israel. All right. So there is no offspring from Muhammad, from Ishmael to be prophets. Well, that's, that, you see, that's the pertinent question I've been asking you. Whoever said a prophet sent to Arabia has to come from the progeny of Isaac and Jacob? It's you Muslims who say that Muhammad from Ishmael. Go right now, type in Google, and you will find that no, Muhammad. No, I know that very well. I know that very well. I know that very well. Okay, like, so, what, what, just, so you, you are saying Muhammad who Muhammad said Muhammad. it's Muhammad, he says. Muhammad, he says he's from Ishmael. So basically, if he says so, like we Muslims, we're going to believe him. So you, you don't believe Muhammad? And that's what I'm saying. Like, we believe him 100%. Like, we cannot be Muslims if we don't okay, believe what but he this says. Is, but, but, but that, does, does, that doesn't uh, make sense because the Quran says prophethood will be only from Isaac and Jacob. The verse in front of you. That's what, yeah, like, um, and like all, all what he's saying there for the people of Israel, contextually, Isra Isra Israeli prophets, like prophets sent to the Jewish people, they come from that progeny. Prophet Muhammad is sent to the whole world. Guys, what I'm asking you, is Muhammad from Ishmael? Either you say yes, you Muslim, you say yes. Yes or no? That's what he said to us. So we believe him. Right. Yeah, he he so, said he's from the so, of But if Ishmael, he is from Ishmael, if he is from Ishmael, that means the Quran is false. Because either it's the Quran... It's not false. Yeah, because if he is from Ishmael, prophet who shall not be from Ishmael. The verse in the front okay, of you. CP. Prophethood. Okay, CP, you're right. Prophethood. That will verse be... is talking about that verse. That verse is talking about um, um, Isaac and how we um, um, Isaac and Jacob, how their progeny will be prophets. You cannot show any Quran verse or biblical verse that says the progeny of Ishmael will not be prophets. Show me. No, you have to show me. It says here from his. It says from the children of Isaac and Jacob will be the offspring of a prophethood. The prophethood will be from this line. It's in front of yeah, you. Yeah, prophethood. Can yeah, you show me, as long, I, I as, long you, as long your Quran said, that from those two, the prophethood, 
then if Allah, he said, if, if, if uh, Ishmael have a prophethood from his line, then the Quran will say, why Allah will hide it? But that's the thing. That's a good point. That's a good point. But for me, that verse, when, when we read it, we Muslim, the context we are seeing is con just confirming all those connected to Isaac and Jacob, and they happens to be prophets in Israel, they are surely prophets. In the case of Prophet Muhammad, he didn't give us further details. All we know, he traced his um, origin to he, to Ishmael, and we know Ishmael is the son is the son of Abraham. Abraham, Allah mentioned to Abraham something very similar about his offsprings. It, it might not be in the Quran, but is in the Old Testament in the Torah regarding what Allah said about the offsprings of Abraham. So if the prophet traces back his lineage to Abraham, we just know Abraham is blessed enough by Allah for someone like Prophet Muhammad. Can you, anyone, anyone understand what this guy is saying? Anyone? What, what are you talking about? Listen, Muhammad is from the from descendant from who? The Hadith here, this is Sahih, says from Ishmael. The Quran says the prophethood will be from the descendant of Isaac and Jacob. The Quran says so. So, and the Quran is the Quran is confirming the prophet of the Jewish people. They will be from Isaac and Ishem. No, and no, Jacob. no. It doesn't say the prophet of the Jewish people. It says it from the descendant of those men. The prophethood will be. Okay, okay. Good point, CP. So you think if Prophet Muhammad was involved in any kind of a conspiracy or anything of the sort, like you normally sell out. What conspiracy? What conspiracy? This is not about Christmas. The guy is lying. No, no, no. I'm giving you, I'm just giving you a logical perspective. What if logical? You're a Muslim. Like you're, Muslim. You're, you're a Muslim. According to your books, I, I, uh, Ishmael, he learned Arabic at the age of 14. So how this guy in Arab, and he learned Arabic at the age of 14, how he can be the father of the Arab, but he himself, according to your books, he learned Arabic at the age of 14. Prophet Mo I'm sorry, um, uh, what's he called? Um, CP, sometimes you Prophet have to CP? understand when people... Ishmael, Ishmael. You have to understand... Ishmael, is it, did, Ish, did, Ishmael, Ishmael, yeah, Ishmael. did Ishmael learn yeah, Arabic Ish at the age of 14? Yeah, that's what the book said. But okay, um, do so you how think he is an um, Arab, how he is an Arab, and he learned Arabic at the age of 14. That means he did not arrive to Arabia until he is 14 years old. All the same, like um, the argue, your argument is like, why is he called the father of the Arabs? Like in Islam, they, they, we describe Aisha the same. No, like, no, um, no, 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 of, no, 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 listen, listen. The tribe of Jerham, it was the tribe occupying Mecca. Then the tribe of Quraysh, and according to your books, he married from that tribe, which means the enemy of Quraysh. So how he is, how Muhammad is from the children of Ishmael, when that guy he married from the enemy tribe, not from Muhammad the tribe. So okay, your, so your history, your history, you. your history is screwed.